here. I'm waving at you guys in the reflection of the ball here. So this is a demo of how a lightning rod works. So I'm going to flip this around so it's a smooth sphere. So I'm generating here a couple hundred thousand volts off my Van de Graaff generator. I got a new belt on it. It's working really nice right now. So you hear that loud flop of lightning shooting off there? Well, that's basically what it is, lightning. And that's what happens during a thunderstorm. You have charges building up in the atmosphere, which simulates this giant dome here. And the smaller dome is your building. And what you don't want is that giant buildup of charge on that surface to arc out a big capacitive discharge. So instead, you put lightning rods on the building, like this point here. This point allows the electrons to concentrate at the tip and they bleed off the bigger charges, kind of like poking a small hole in a balloon. Instead of popping it, you're bleeding off that pressure very controlled in a very small manner because a normal lightning rod wouldn't handle the current or the wattage coming off of an actual lightning strike. So contrary to popular belief, lightning rods on a building don't attract lightning. All those little points are actually there to bleed off the charge from the atmosphere because your building, in essence, is like this big smooth dome here. Lots of surface area for all the electrons to spread out and build up that big charge. And you get that large discharge and all that current comes with it, causing the damage to the building. So instead, you put these little points on. Even if I get it really close here, you can hear very small arcs. It limits the amount of current or charge that could travel across it. So again, I hope this demo helps explain why buildings, like this giant smooth dome here, have lightning rods on them to prevent lightning strikes. It's kind of cool. Thanks for watching.